Hey everybody, so I haven't posted in a long time and I just got a question from one of my videos. There is so much to discuss on it, so I figured why not make a new video that I can post for other people as well. And that will be, can you do the 2B mindset and also incorporate a weightlifting type of program and get the type of success that you want or should you change your nutrition program or potentially not do something that is a weightlifting program? So I will give you all of my insight because I did the 2B Mindset and I did Lift 4 together. So I'll talk to you about my experience with the 2B Mindset and Lift 4. All right, so up front, if you just want the answer to that, I will tell you that you can do the 2B Mindset and Lift 4 together and get amazing results. I did. I ended up losing about 9 inches from the time I started Lift 4. I had already been doing um, the 2B Mindset for about three weeks I think it was and I continued to follow the 2B Mindset through the entire eight weeks of Lift 4. Like I said, I lost 7 pounds but I lost 9 inches. So one thing I will tell you. Don't look at the scale as a way to determine whether or not you're getting the results that you want. Lift 4 is a heavy lifting program. So you may start lifting as heavy as 5 weights maybe if you haven't lifted before. But the goal is to continuously increase. So you might go from 5 to 8 to 10 to 15. Or you might start at 15 and move up to about 20, 25. Or start with the 25 range and move all the way up to 45. So whatever it is, you're going to continue to move up. So you can, number one, continue to do it, but what I have for you is that when you start to lift weights, your body is going to, is going to be shocked. There's going to be a little bit of a, an adjustment period for your body where it's trying to figure out what's going on, okay? So you're going to start to retain a little bit of water because your muscles are going to need to heal themselves a little bit more. So what they're going to do is they're going to retain a little bit of water because that is going to help them in that healing process. You're probably going to hold on to a little bit of weight in the very beginning and then you're going to start to exchange some fat for some muscle. Not a lot of fat for a lot of muscle. I don't expect that you're going to be gaining three or four pounds of muscle over the course of this, but you are going to be exchanging fat for muscle. And here's the deal. Fat and muscle um, weigh the same, but take up a different amount of space. Muscle is denser than fat. So you can... so, so what it is is that you can have five pounds of fat or five pounds of muscle and the five pounds of muscle is going to take up less weight within your body than the five pounds of fat. So you look bigger with five pounds of fat than you do with five pounds of muscle, but you weigh the exact same. Let's say you weigh 150 pounds. With five or ten pounds of muscle versus five or ten pounds of fat, you're going to look different. Okay. So the biggest thing that I saw when I was when I started the 2B mindset is that I stopped bloating nearly as much. My body started to sleek out. The fat started to um, to go away. I started to lose weight. When I started doing lift four, my weight plateaued a little bit at the very beginning. I believe it was about two weeks where I would lose a little bit of weight and gain it back. Lose a little bit of weight and gain it back. That's what it would do. Um, I also stopped tracking for some crazy reason I stopped tracking and I made a video of the, about this online for some of my friends and I said here's the deal when it tells you to track you should be tracking because when you plateau you can't look at it and figure out what you're doing different I figured because that I was eating mostly the same thing every single day that I didn't need to track because I wasn't changing up my diet. But I was changing up other factors in my life and it talks about those in here where it asks you what's your mood like, how much sleep did you get, what did you eat. And because I wasn't tracking, when I would eat those one or two cookies or I would eat that little bag of chips, I didn't really notice that I was doing things that were adding sodium to my diet, that were adding fat to my diet, that were adding all of these different um, macronutrients that I wasn't tracking. So that's the biggest thing is that 100% you need to track. You need to be patient. You need to continue to weigh yourself every day. Um, and then you need to make adjustments because the 2B Mindset isn't a one-size-fits-all program. The intent behind it is that you're analyzing what you're eating. So if you 
are tracking and you look at it and you realize that you're not losing any weight, then you need to adjust something. Um, when you start to lift weights, you're going to need a little bit of a little bit more protein in order to build a little bit more. So what I would recommend is that you kind of make your plate a little bit bigger. Um, not to change the proportions of what she says for plate it, but make your plate a little bit bigger so that you're eating a little bit more protein and you're eating a little bit more of all of the different other uh, food items on your thing. I know that might sound counterintuitive, that might sound like counter to what you want to do, that eating more is going to help you lose weight, but that's the truth. Sometimes when you're not eating enough, your body is going to hold on to water, to fat, to all of these different things, just a little bit more, and that's going to cause you to plateau. Remember to measure yourself. You need to make sure that you're getting um, your appropriate measurements where you're, you're measuring your arms, you're measuring your, your chest, you're measuring your waist and your thighs and different things like that. So as you put on muscle, your behind might start to get bigger, which I was like, yes, but your waist might be getting smaller. So one thing that I noticed with my, um, with my final changes um my chest i lost an inch my left arm there was no change my right arm was smaller by 0.25 inches which makes sense because i was a little bit lopsided and as i was doing um them i started to even out right my waist i lost six inches my hips one inch so the reason that it was a smaller amount was because my booty was getting a little bit bigger but the fat on my hips were starting to get smaller um and in each thigh i lost one inch okay now, if I go back and I look at it, my actual weight didn't go down a whole heck of a lot. Um, I went from 138.6 down to 125. So I guess that is about a 13.6 um, uh, pound change, but that was also including the change from the 2B mindset prior to it. So it was a little bit different. I haven't used this in a long time, but it is a great tracker for you if you would like to use it. If you would like to use something else, another one that I recommend, this one doesn't keep um, track of your uh, measurements but it does keep track of your weight so let's say your weight fluctuates up and down if you gain two pounds all of a sudden one day true weight that's the name of the app true weight will let you know that you haven't actually gained two pounds you've probably only gained you know a quarter of a pound maybe at the most but whatever it is that you ate last night stuck with you in some way you're either bloating you're inflamed or you've just got some crap in your system that you gotta get out but it's doubtful that you gain three pounds overnight. There's not three pounds of fat in there. There's three pounds of something in there that is probably gonna go away over the next three days or so. Eat better. Um, another one that you can use though is called, um, it's not opening, it's called the Progress app. So when you click here, go, um, it will take you to the next one. You input your weight, you input um, each of the measurements that you've decided that you want. So I highly recommend you keep track of your measurements in some way, do it every week, um, that way, if you're not losing weight on the scale, you can tell whether or not you're losing weight, not weight, you're losing fat overall because you're not necessarily going to be able to tell. Even if you've got one of those fancy scales, like I do, I love it. Um, it's going to tell you, you know, your body fat percentage, but it's not completely accurate. And it, I, I've noticed that it doesn't fluctuate nearly as much. It doesn't, sh it doesn't change with, as the composition of my body changes. So that's something that I highly recommend. Track your food. Be patient, make adjustments. This is like a scientific method. You need to go into it and um, if you're feeling like you don't have as much energy going into your workout, that means you need a few more carbs in the morning. If you feel like um, you're a little bit more sore, I highly recommend that you make sure that you get something later on in the day, um, sorry, right after your workout to help you to recover a little bit faster. There's a carb to protein ratio that you need. I forget exactly what it is. You can Google that. Google. Um, carb to protein ratio right after a workout to recover faster and that will get you the information that you need. The reason I don't remember it is because I drink um, the Beachbody Recover Shake and that's got the exact ratio that you need so you just drink that shake, you're good to go. It restores your um, glucose that you've lost because you use it when you work out and then it gives you the protein that you need to kind of help you to, um, uh, to recover um, your muscles. Your muscles need to recover. So there we go. That's what I got for you is that you need to be adjusting your diet in, uh, as you pay attention. You need to pay attention to your body to figure out what it is that you need. 
Um, you need to be tracking so that you can see when you go off track. You can see what you need to change. You can kind of um, try new things based on what you're tracking. Um, track your measurements with your weight. The weight is not going to be as accurate a reflection of what's going on in your body as the measurements are. If you're not drinking enough water, make sure you're drinking enough water. I highly recommend at least half your body weight in water, if not more. I have seen some great um, things happen from me just increasing the water intake. Log everything. How much sleep did you get? How tired were you when you woke up? Um, what have you been eating? What have you been drinking? Every single thing. I'm sure there is more. Maybe I'll add it when I get back from my workout. Um, I think that's pretty much it. If I see any more questions that you've been asking, then I'll go ahead and I'll add more to this video. It's already pretty long though. If you have any more questions, just let me know. I, I have tons of time, not a big deal. I'm always willing to, to sit down and answer your questions. It gets me thinking about it a little bit more and I super appreciate being able to help people with it because it keeps me on track. Um, every little bit counts. Okay. So don't downgrade it and say, I've only lost this much, or this is only this, you know what I mean? Stop that. Every single success that you have is a great success. And if it makes you happy, then you need to revel in that. You need to be thrilled in that. I don't understand why we tend to, to, to make ourselves smaller than what we are. Why we tend to say, it's just this, it's only this. No, it is this, this is great, okay? You have taken a huge step forward. You are you are doing great things. You have stuck with this. And I know that some of, some of the times maybe um, I think that you said that you started something and then you didn't really stick with it. Uh, you lost your you lost your motivation. You lost your why. The big thing about Beachbody isn't that we give you a program and you you stick with the program because you're self motivated. The big thing about Beachbody is that we offer you a coach. I would love to be your coach. I would love to help you out with all of this. Um, the coach is supposed to, to keep you going. I am I am not your cheerleader. I am not here to tell you, yay, everything you do is great. I am here to coach you and to say, all right, that's where you're screwing up, girl. That's where you're having a problem and I need you to pull it back and I need you to get on that scale and I need you to do your measurements and I need you to do your workouts. It's only four days a week, girl. It's only four days a week. So my job is to coach you and to push you and to, and to see how far you're willing to go. This is about you. This is about what you want. This is about what you need. This is about where you are going. Okay. This has nothing to do with me. Um, second thing that Beachbody offers is groups. When you have a coach, I run a lot of different groups. I've got one that's starting 21 day fix on the 25th, but I've got other groups of people who are doing all sorts of different workouts and we can add you into those as well so that every time you do a workout you come and you check in and it gives you accountability and it gives you this this sense of 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 com uh misery loves company, right? You finish you finish you finish with Joel and Joel's a Joel's a jerk. Joel is always doing those bears, those triple bears. Screw those triple bears. I do not like those triple bears. I have a hard time keeping up with them, but I do them because he tells me to. I don't like it though. So we all get to kind of commiserate together in the fact that we hate those triple bears. We love Joel. He's great. He's wonderful. And then mm, as you get closer to the end, one of the guys, the big guy with the dreadlocks, I never felt this, uh, this connection to him, but he has to modify. There's this one where he has to modify and I'm like, dude, I modify all the time. Now we're friends and I love that. Anyways, now I'm just going off on a tangent. So I'm going to uh, fix this video real quick. I'm going to post it private and then I'm going to send you the link so that you can watch it. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you need to know. I'm here.